Let's mess with this little Chinese diesel heater here. Uh, just trying to see the amp draw or wattage of this thing. It's supposed to run on 12 or 24 volts. So at 24 volts, it should draw half the amps. Watts remain the same. So I started out with this uh, 10 amp, 12 volt. Wire that in here and it uh, would give me an air for low voltage. So I switched to this uh, 10 amp, 24 volt. So we'll go ahead and plug that in real quick and I'll show you that. And running this through this little amp meter here, uh, I gotta hook up the connector for that again. All right, so we got this little setup here. We got a 100 amp shunt hooked up to this little gauge that has a barrel jack, same barrel jack there, down here. So I'm gonna get that plugged in. So we're getting 24.2 volts, zero amps right now with this setup that is on the 24 amp power supply. So come over here. Go to the menu on this, 24.3, so they're pretty close, 24.3, 24.2. Power this on. That starts our voltage draw over here. And our amps are slowly climbing as the heater has the fan speed on low and the glow plug igniting. So there we just dropped out all our amperage voltage and that is the power supply turned off so you can see the indicator light is actually off right there at the corner and that'll come back on momentarily get a full loss of power to this and now just kick back on we're getting voltage and we got power so it only drew about five amps tops and this power supply is junk and not giving us enough amperage all right so now with the uh 12 volt 10 amp doing the same thing hooking it into the barrel jack here we now have 12 volts come over to the heater getting 12 volts power it on so it's going to start igniting the glow plug fan speed low and we'll watch it Look at the front of here. This is the same 10.5. This is the same 11.2. So we're getting some kind of current drop through here. So now fan speed's kicking up. And we started fuel pump. So we're getting 9.2. Dropping down to 10 volts on here. Starting to ignite. So nine nine on voltage, steady eight point eight amps, eight point nine. Voltage is still slowly falling out. We about have ignition in this thing. I don't know if you can hear the exhaust starting. And I think it just quit. It was giving me air one for uh, low voltage. So this had too much dip in voltage, not even quite hitting uh, 10 amps and died off. All right, so everything's cooled back down. It's been about two hours and we're gonna disconnect the 12 volt power supply and connect this, which is going to the leads of this 12 volt battery. So we're outputting 14.4 because it's on a battery tender. So let's, let's disconnect that. And that's gonna slowly fade back down. So I'll come back when that settles. All right, so we're pretty close to the settle point on here. And for this, we just have the wires hooked up to the leads, going through some Wagos back through the barrel jack. So from here forward stays the same. 
So now we're gonna wake this thing up. Go in here. 12.9 volts. Power it on. And watch the amps climb. So still getting the same kind of jumping around, having the uh, the battery on here, but it jumped up to five amps really quick, I feel like. Now we're getting the fan kicking on. We'll get fuel pump here in a second. So nine and a half. And once this thing gets up to temperature, you'll see the amps just dive off as it turns the glow plug off. So glow plug turned off, we're at 1.8, 1.6, 1 1.8. Voltage is back up, and that is uh, on the battery. operating here um, just full speed <clears throat> so you can see with the battery I think it's up and running really easy it is a like full-size um, automotive style battery so that does it real easy as you expect because it starts a car and then I, if I wanted to, I could have had these hooked in parallel with that and it would run off the, uh, <clears throat> run off that power supply. So I'm curious if I can actually do it quick enough to get it to stay running and go to that power supply. So full bore, we're now running 3.6, 3.9 amps and it's keeping it just under 12 volts. All right, so I got the camera set up here. You can see this plug. I'm gonna see if I can do this fast enough to hot swap. It's on high. I wish I knew how to turn this one into manual. Um, just that would, I feel like, give me more time if there's any capacitors in there running this, but let's see if I can do it. It hated that. That was kind of neat. If I didn't see it, but you could hear it, the uh, exhaust backfired after very quickly power swapping it. But it looks like we're just going into a cool down instead of a restart. So, being on high, that ain't gonna happen. So you can see after that, uh, it just went into a power down mode. See if we can turn it back on and get it to operate just off the power supply now that it's hot. So with it running the whole time, it eventually did cool down. And now we're getting glow plug again. And we are on just the 12 volt power supply. And we're back to drawing all that same current again. One thing I can do though is undo those Wagos and tie them into these and these are hot. I had them covered up but doing some testing and they're uncovered. So I could uh, give this battery voltage on top of this <coughs> and it will fire. And then I can undo the battery from here and this will power it. So uh, we're going to see what happens with this just out of curiosity and then power down again and then get started off of using these with the battery and that just you know see what this guy does so just trying to see with it being a little bit warmer since it's ran will it start off that 10 amp supply 10.2 volts it's going to dip into nine and this thing's going to want to power itself off i've seen that get down to eight before before it decided to power off but since it's been warm, I'm curious if it'll start. So that power over there is saying 10 volts. This is saying 9.3. So when that dips into eight, it'll it'll shut itself off. Eight 
eight nine. It's gonna shut itself off. Eight A. All it has to do is kick off that glow plug. Yep. Air one didn't make it. So let this cool down. Uh, do the whole cool down cycle, and uh, we can see that. I think this sometimes it likes to try to run again. One of these did when it had an ignition failure. I think it was my other one. But we're still drawing eight and a half amps over there at 9.9 .9 volts. Nice little bit of smoke out of the exhaust because it didn't ignite. So we'll be back after this cools down. All right, so the unit has cooled down. We got the Wegos tied into the original power source on this. Those are going to the terminals of the battery. So we're getting an extra five volts because the battery's higher than the power supply. And we will fire this up. So we're gonna notice that this is not gonna pull nearly as many amps because the battery is doing most of the legwork and it is past the uh, amp meter. So we've got glow plug going. So far it's drawing zero amps out of there. I think when that drops below 12 volts, we'll probably start seeing it pick up because that's what the uh, power supply is putting out. So we're dipping, running that line of 12, and so now the power supply is starting to pick up some of the slack because the battery's got droop. So we've got the fan kicking on, so we're about to get fuel pump. Your ignition starting. We're getting very little droop this time using the battery in uh, parallel with this. So the glow plug is off. Now we're back to zero amp draw. And so now we should be able to unhook the battery from this. Not even getting hot air yet. We should be able to undo these. Connector. Ooh, weird. Full drop off on voltage from the other one. Come back and cool down. Save yourself. Why is it not doing a cool down cycle? Ooh, yeah. Getting that heat soak. You do not want to do this to your own. We're having some fun with this one. It's so gonna let that cool down. I've done that before. Is uh, I've unhooked that, and that has carried the weight. So that is kind of odd that uh, that wasn't running it. But I also did have a battery that was about dead, so that made them part of it. All right, so now I'm just gonna do a couple experiments. Uh, I had the solar battery hooked up before, and it's the capacity on it's about gone. So it's currently at 11.8 on voltage and 11.8 on there. The funny thing is, this is just all voltage back feeding into here and it's still picking it up, so that's cool. And now we're gonna plug in the 10 amp power supply, 12 volt 10 amp power supply. And that's gonna bump up to 12. And we will start the heater. That's going to put a lot, much larger draw on the uh, power supply because this was already below 12 volts when we started. So we're going to get up here to where we can kind of see both going on. And we're getting that voltage droop down there. But it should at least carry above 9 volts so it'll stay turned on because that has barely enough power to it to do that. So we're hitting 8 amps over there, 11.2 volts. Just started fuel pump. Let's see what our voltage on here is. 
9.3, so it's gonna be questionable if it makes it. I've ran this battery a couple times without having it charged doing this, so it might be a hair too low to sustain, but we will see. So it sounds like it's better to take off and turn the glow plug off. Ooh, an Air One. It was about ready to go, so that battery is a hair too low to make this run. So we'll let that cool down. And uh, now we're just kind of maybe do something fun. So now we got it hooked back up. Literally the exact same thing we were just doing. But uh, this time, we're going to help it out. So we got low fan speed, glow plug going, ether, intake. Maybe you could hear it kick up. Cool. The exhaust started shaking after that last one. Oh, we got E1 again. Yeah, it's already turned itself back off. All right, so with the crappy solar battery out of there, it's pretty much shot. And we got the car battery back on here with good voltage. So got that with the power supply. Not that it's needed, but uh, get this thing to fire up. So we're getting ready to get fuel. Thing is kicking up. Didn't like the ether. too rich for it. It really doesn't like the ether. Not these things really don't jump start well. We'll let it get going and then try it. So we're ramping up. Let's give it another one. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that is awesome. So it's been about an additional, I don't know, three minutes since the uh, last clip. And the sound had went away. And uh, by the time I could get ready to record this again, it uh, has started to come back. So I might have just messed my fan up or something. 